Okay, so look, I love projectors and I mostly use a projector in my living room and that's been the case for the last few years. So when Anchor sent this over, yes, Anchor, the company that makes those awesome cables and chargers and all that stuff, um, they sent over this Nebula Cosmo Max projector and from the first time that I've gotten this thing out of the box and I got it undressed, took the plastic off, I was like, yo, this looks totally different from any other projector that I've used. And it has this oval shape and it's really cool and sleek looking, but it's also less bulky than some of the other ones that I've used. And one of the good things I like about this projector is that it does have a uh, tripod mount there at the bottom. So you can put this on a tripod and this is gonna be great if you wanna take this outdoors to use it. Um, so you can easily mount this, especially not in the daytime like this, of course, but, uh, but yeah, you can mount this on a tripod and get it in position no matter where you are. But the coolest thing about the design of this is actually up here in this blank space right here, get it, space. Uh, that's because when you turn this thing on, it actually lights up with stars and also the nebula logo there and that is awesome I really like it some people might find it a little tacky I don't I think it's really cool it goes with the whole cosmos theme now you can go into the settings and you can turn um, both of these things off the logo and the stars or you can keep one of them on if you wanted to but I'm just gonna keep it on I'm a rocket that way because I just think it adds a little extra flair to a product category that typically looks a little plain in my opinion so yeah I like it but now let's take a look at the ports on the back so starting from the left to the right you do have have the power port and then also you do have two HDMI 2.0 ports and then also you do have two USB type A ports and also optical in and then you will also find the power button on the back and speaking of the power button let's go ahead and hit that and get this thing turned on now as far as software this is running Android TV 9.0 it's not the absolute latest but it still is a really good version of Android TV that is fast that is snappy and this gives way to a very easy setup process because you can open up the Google app on your phone and then now you can use that to be able to get this thing paired up with your Google accounts and get all that stuff synced over so setup really only took a couple of minutes for me and so if you haven't messed around with the Android TV interface it's really simple and clean as you can see you have a few categories at the top that you can scroll between um, but yeah you have a section that will kind of be like your home screen that will show you um, some things that you might want to watch and some content from maybe some of the apps that you already have on there um, you can also customize it and add some of your favorite apps to the top now another benefit of this having Android TV is that you have access to over 5,000 different apps that you can download in the Play Store. Uh, well, besides one very popular one and that is Netflix. So for whatever reason, you can't just download Netflix from the Play Store. You have to use the Nebula Manager app and then their uh, Connect app on the phone to be able to get this thing going. Uh, so that kind of sucks, but eventually you can get it on this. And then because this does have Chromecast built in, you can just cast um, that over to this. But yeah, again, that was the only issue that I had with, with downloading an app, but all the other apps that I typically use were available for me to put on this. All right, now let me show you the remote control that comes inside of the box with this. So it's pretty simple and clean. It doesn't have any unnecessary buttons on here, just what you need. Um, I do wish that the buttons were backlit so you can easily see them when all the lights are off, which is the ideal environment for a projector, but it's not a big deal breaker for me. Um, but you do have one colorful button on here and that will activate the Google Assistant. So you can use it to ask it about the weather or the time or whatever. Uh, but also you can use it to say open YouTube Boom, there we go. Now you do have another way to control this projector and that's by downloading the Nebula Connect app on your phone and using that. Now typically these type of remote control apps for TVs and projectors suck. Luckily this one doesn't. Um, so when you open it up, you have two ways to be able to control your projector. It has controller mode, which will kind of mimic what the physical controller can do. And then also you do have mouse mode, which will bring up a cursor on the screen. Uh, so now you can use that to navigate. Okay, so now let's talk about audio and video quality. Now. One good thing about this projector is that it does have digital zoom. So it's very easy to kind of get this to the perfect size that you want. So when you use a projector and you have it like all the way in the back of your room, it's gonna be a really big image because of that. Um, and so this doesn't have any like physical controls for you to be able to control it, but you can go into the settings and use digital zoom to make that image smaller if you want. Um, so that not only allows you to fit this on your projector screen better, but also too, if you just want a smaller image, um, that can take care of that for you. Now this does also have 
auto keystone um, correction for vertical uh, keystone. So this allows you to be able to kind of place it even off angle a little bit from your projector screen. And using auto keystone, or if you want to get in there and use it manually, you can still have the image look like the projector is actually sitting directly in front of it. So that's good if you have a couch sitting right in front of your screen and you want the projector off to the side, uh, your image is still going to look good. And it also does have autofocus and there's a dedicated button on the remote to allow you to activate that. So yeah, if you need to get things in focus because you move the projector, this thing 100% of the time got things in focus in just a matter of seconds for me. All right, all right, that's enough of the video setup, but how does the video look once you get everything ready to go? It looks great. So 4K HDR content looks awesome on here. Just 4K content looks great. Um, I watched a lot of YouTube videos on here uh, from great people like Jonathan Morrison that put out really high quality video and things just really look awesome. The one thing I did change um, is that I went over to movie mode on this um, over from the default standard mode and that made things a little bit warmer, right? And I kind of like that look um, as far as me switching between watching YouTube videos and movies. Um, the normal standard uh, picture mode that comes on by default. It's a little bit too cool, a little bit too on the blue side for me. It still looks good, uh, but I prefer a little bit of a warmer look with this. Um, but yeah, everything looks good on here, man. And I am showing you the uh, this screen here via my camera, so it doesn't look exactly how it looks in person, but you just kind of have to take my word on it. Things look good. Now this can also upscale non 4K HDR content as well to make those things look better. So if you're watching a little bit of older content, uh, that can also be uh, made better via the processing on this projector. And like most projectors, this will work best when all the lights are off, but this is how it looks when I had one ceiling light on. But what's even better than the video quality for me is actually the audio quality. So this has 360 sound, and so it has four 10 watt speakers around this. And this means that you have really good sound no matter where you're sitting around this projector because a lot of times when I use a projector, I use it to like host fight parties and things. And you have people sitting all around, especially you have a, you know, 10, 15 people in the same room. Um, so a lot of projectors just have kind of forward facing speakers or some just in the sides um, or in the back. This one has it all around. So no matter where you're sitting, you're gonna be getting loud, good, clean audio. And the speakers on this gets loud. And I normally kept them around like 50 to 60%. And I'm someone who likes to listen to things very loudly. So that just shows you how much extra room um, that I had to turn the volume up. It really can fill up your room full of sound. So that's a good thing. So um, I really don't see the need for people to use a sound bar with this, unless you just have a really nice sound bar um, or you're using it with other speakers that you have around for a, you know, a kind of a truer setup. Um, I just really like the fact of the sound quality and the fact that no matter where you're sitting, if you're sitting behind it or to the side of it, you still have nice, good, clean audio. So yeah, probably the, uh, I, I would say the best speakers that I've used on a projector, there, there are a couple of ultra short throw projectors that you know, cost twice as much as this, but um, also have really great, great speakers. But for just like a regular projector, um, this one has the best speakers that I've used. Oh, and something else I almost forgot is that this does have a dedicated Bluetooth speaker mode. So say you just want to use it as a Bluetooth speaker, which because it sounds so good, you might want to do that. Um, that will turn off the projector light um, and then just have the audio coming from the speakers that you can use your phone to send over uh, music if you wanted to. And oh, for all my gamers out there, yeah, I hooked up my uh, next generation consoles to this, like my Xbox Series X, and it performed really well. You can do 4K 60 on this. And the fact that you have this really super big screen it can make for a really awesome uh, multiplayer gaming session. Um, and the latency wasn't that bad at all either. Like it didn't really, really bother me at all. It's a little bit there, but nothing um, to be concerned about. And then one last thing as far as the lamp inside of this, it is LED. So this means that it's gonna last you for around 30,000 hours. So basically to reach 30,000 hours, you would have to like leave this projector on for about three and a half years. So that's a long time. So um, LED, long life, good to go. And yeah, I think that's a lot of the features. And now this kind of brings us down to the price of this. So this does cost $1,700. And when you're looking at this, comparing it to like a regular TV, um, yeah, you can get TVs that have HDMI 2.1 and have uh, different feature sets and things like that for around the same price point, but you're not gonna find a 150 inch TV um, that has this type of quality for that price point. So that's where these projectors really shine in the big um, screen experience that you can get the movie-like experience 
experience. But for the performance that you're getting with this, I think it's actually priced really well. Now, this isn't a sponsored video. They just sent this over for me to review, but they did want to hook up you all, my audience, uh, with a discount code. So if you are interested in this, you can save some money. And so if you wanted to get this Cosmo Max, they do have a discount code for $200 off, which is pretty sweet. Um, but they also do have a smaller brother to this projector that is only 1080p, but has a lot of the same features. Um, and then that code will give you $200 off as well. So you can pick up that one if you want to. So I'll leave those linked down below. But yeah, this wraps up kind of my uh, video about this projector. I think it's pretty sweet, pretty cool, fun projector that I think um, if you're looking for something like this in this price range, um, this one has you covered so far. So anyway, what do you think about this? Leave your comment down below. Make sure you do subscribe and hit that notification bell. And uh, like always, I do want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.